Final yan, ha? Dito po sa pagtatapos sa third quarter kanina-kanina lang. Bigla po na buhay yan itong San Miguel Beer. They've been training the entire game. At ngayon, tatlo lang ang kanilang hinahabal. Joe Washington. Ito po. Pinabas kay Bignones. Bignones, step up, three point shot. They're most not quite. Salinger, Hammond. On the follow-up shot. And Salinger shaking up a little bit. Yung headband na napunta na sa leg. Kaya tulak na sa leg nga doon. A lot of contact underneath the board. You can expect that. Ito na, buwag yung rebound. Noon! Noon! Ako sa mukha kinamaan. And of course, Enrico Villanueva. Accidental yun eh. Hindi naman sinasadya. But of course, you know, you're only human. You get hit in the face. You're gonna react. Siyempre. Tao lang. Sabi nga ni Gaylin niya kanina, no? Nothing personal. And J.J. Sullivan is playing a Galen Young type of game. He's getting the ball moving. He's got his teammates involved in the offense. In fact, three locals now in double figures for talking things. And Jay Washington is just one point away from double figures. Hello, Tenorio. Way now, letting the ball go on. Up! And one time, Milano. And the head of the winners to please the steal. Sullivan goes up! And that's going to be a foul. Ayun, lumayo na naman itong talking text just as I'm going to ask you again. Dominic Coy, ano ba lang sa talking text? Well, dalawang bagay ang gusto gawin itong si Coach Derek Pumarin. Pagdating sa depensa, they need to recover long dahil naiiwan ang ngayong shooters itong Beerman. Pagdating naman sa opensa, get the ball inside, especially pag nag-zone itong San Miguel Beerman. Okay. But so far, they've been uh, pretty successful, especially on rebounding. Uh, the uh, the misses uh, of uh, their teammates are uh, running second chance opportunities within the attack and text. Jesse Gonzalez. Rico Villanueva. L.A. Tenorio. And Sergio for the rebound. There's a lot of activity on the part of talking text. In the on the defensive end, and he is oh, offensive rebound. Yeah, for us. And Gonzalo Toledo leading the pack. Wesley Gonzalez against Alvarado, swatted away by Santiago. Santiago is asking for a goal tending. Well, we'll need to take a another look. It's not clear if it was goal tending. We watch it here. That's a goal tending. Para ngayon yun na. Para hindi goal tending yun na. Hindi na, hindi na ang goal tending. Yeah. That's a good call. Good no call. Therefore. Wesley Gonzalez, all of his eight points coming in the third period. Big lift off the bench. Quality minutes. Ganda who got the third shot that was said. Meanwhile, Um, Gale and Young are still riding the bench. Well, napansin siguro ni Coach Shot Pankinse, no? Maganda ni lalaro ng mga local niya without Gale and Young. And uh, it's allowing L.A. Tenorio to establish his presence as a playmaker on the floor. At saka maganda yung uh, galaw ng San Miguel sa zone defense nila, no? Yeah. Joe Washington. Alakas. The points over the rebound. Well, again, because of that zone defense, Jay Washington was afraid that he might be called for a charge, and that's the reason why he didn't take a good shot. And the one that was going to be the game again. What is that? Para hindi ko makita. Malabo lang talaga na ito. Si Gailin Yang is about to check in. Ayun, kaya pala. Malabo lang talaga sa box. Yan. Okay, a six-point lead, but San Miguel with the possession. Wesley Gonzalez certainly getting a big hand from uh, oh, yeah. San Miguel crowd. Nine points. He deserves it. There's Calagio. Here's Gale again. 
A bit of pump fakes and a traveling violation is caught. But then let's get very real. Chalk up another turnover. That's nine turnovers now for Galen Young. He could have passed the ball. Either way, San Miguel playing with a double post with Ildefonso and Dorian Peña. But Galen Young, he's supposed to be a much better passer than scorer. Tried to score, called for the traveling. Ego Bullones. Back Cardona. Salinger. Oh, good block there by Danny I. Well, after the block, Salinger came down with the ball, and that's the reason why he was called for traveling. He should have let go, but if he had let go... Oh. Anyway, turnover to Nenegare. Very good. Let him block, but he came down with the ball, and that's a no-no. Yeah, let go for three. Joe Washington recovering the other Palace of Park and Text. They're up by six. Challenger. Villanes. Oh, first oh, shot. First shot, yes. By Mark Cardona. And he compounds that. By well, trying to steal off uh, Galen Young and instead picking up the foul. That's a frustration foul on his part. And uh, he could be replaced here. Well, Wilson just came in for Danny I. But uh, Sikeri is about to check in. He's not going to Danny Gary. Tenorio. Chris Calagio. Get it over to the north post, Gale and Young. Calabria. Way to Gale and Young. And the rebound by Seliger. Wide open look there for Chris Caraggio again. Gale and Young, he drew the double team, and that's why San Miguel making the extra pass. Found the open man. Who is the play the line? I mean, they're going to get out of the line. Oh, but it's not a double team. But not in Texas, no step. May makakalibre si San Miguel. It does. It's going to be honest. We pray. And it's on the side. And it's been honest it will be replaced. Oh yes, Salinger. Salinger. Oh, what a... What a sub. Galen Young against Joe Washington. The oh, pass in shots. You have a Galen Young. Oh, oh. That's what uh, San Miguel has been missing. Joe Washington. Cardona. Now into Teleman. Washington is open. Oh, big basket. We have pressed down into Jay Washington. 12 points now for Washington. And the lead is back up to seven. Paris are talking text. Gail and Young. Now into Sikinario. Belling and Lincoln Young. Going inside. Out to Teleman once again. And it's hit by shot. Here it is. It's good. By L.A. Teleman. Eight in the game. Gonna fires. He's off. Out of his game again. Picked up by Aliado, Jerry and Penny are back to young. Canary was not successful. There's a whistle. Now Coach Terry Pumarin doesn't like the combination on the floor here for talking text. It's not rotating quick enough to stop the shooters than San Miguel, but Solinger still is sitting on the bench. So I've got a matter of time out the finale of talking text uh, just as we were about to send in a couple of substitutions. 6.51 remaining in the fourth and final quarter. We're point lead for talking text. We'll be right back. You know, another perfect example of the interior defense and top picks, huh? Yeah. Cardona. 
Shanty. Nice soft shot, yes. 19 points for Yancy Del Campo. When you big man uh, make the range game, talagang hinahanap ng maraming kupunan dito sa PBA. And Harvey Carey will be called for the foul. 6.05 to go. Alim na naman ang abante ng talk and text over San Miguel. I'd like to remind you again in our first game, Barangay Ginebra, 1 over 8, 21, 121 to 116. Best player there was Ronald Kimmel with 30 points. Galen Young with a beautiful pirouette. He scores, he'll go to the line. Sullinger is still sitting on the bench for talking text, but perhaps not for long. I think it's going to be uh, Galen Young. The ball is fake. Oh, yeah, especially on that kind of move. Three point play by Galen Young. And Sun Miguel again knocks on the door. Heading the lead down to three. And I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to put it in there. Ball game. It has been talking text in the lead exclusively. Hey! New steal. I'm going to try to get it back to Jay Washington. Much play there for talking text, but they capitalize just the same. 14 points scored now by Washington. That's a foul. New steal. And that's a penalty now. Uh, talking text has a lot of time left 528 so with the way talking text has been playing uh, defense they have to be careful they'll back off now and San Miguel will want to take advantage and go stronger to the hole now so Salinger is ready to check back in I cannot afford to sit him down too long especially at this crucial stage that San Miguel is rallying they're just four behind One more shot for Galen Young. Opposing Mac Maradona, Alexi Salinger. One, one more shot here for Galen Young. Young with 19 points. He's, he has outscored Salinger, who has been held to 13 points. Look at the free throws here. 10 of 20 for the phone pals. 17 of 21 for the Beerman. Dami Mintis ng talking text. Galen Young cuts it down to three again at 87-84. Malayu Peto, 528 to go. Here's Here's the press yes. by San Miguel. So a different kind of defense here by San Miguel coming from the three throw, uh, free throw connection. Oh, oh. 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 Outside to Washington. Yancey. Oh, yes. And talking text, getting a lot of breaks. How many times they've been able to capitalize on watch plays? And I think they're just clicking to the ball in this game. Oh, Galen Young. He was fouled. He was fouled. Three point right? shot. How did he carry? Oh. On a three point shot. Their feet got uh, entangled. Lucky break for Galen Young. Definitely. Dito na sa yung tira. So, Magdala, mara po tayo. Four minutes and 52 seconds remaining in the game. And a five-point lead for Talking Text of 89-84. This is Galen Young, live, direct, in effect, with the Mohawk. You can't underestimate the power of the Hawk. I had this Mohawk, won a championship with it, and so, you know, we brought it out here to the Philippines to try to do the same thing with Sam Miguel. Okay, last of the Mohicans. Si Galen Young. Dato nagmohok na si Don Aliado, no? Oo, oh, dati. He's not playing oh. for talking text. Si Asuka uh, si nagmohok. Hindi, no? Hindi yata, oo. Oh. 
at uh, oh, yeah, that's what we go si Manny Garcia PR manager sa PCSO kung sayang nyo si Norski Garcia from Pangasinan uh, mga kaibigan natin yan mga taga Philippine Charity Sweepstakes Office Three free throws for Kaylee Young. Okay, katulong din natin yan dito sa PBA. Five free throws coming up. This could go down to just a two-point game. By up to 40% savings now. Hulog and pa. Well, 8-8-7-2-5-8-8. Simply goes up. Ano na gano? Well, Jay Washington came charging in thinking that it was just a two free throw situation. So they give another free throw. Nagbintis eh. Kanina pa sumusuerte sa free throw ito si Gaylin Yang eh. Nagbintis pa rin. Galing din pala. Talking text, the fans protesting. Oh, look at that. Oh, one out of... Mali apat yun ah. Oo, apat. Here's Joe Washington at the Pilano. Round three there by Sonnenberg's no good. That was a game again with the balance pass. Twisting shot by Wilson Gonzalez. Hola. Wilson Gonzalez. Hola. 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 That's a shot. Oh, yes. That's a shot. Three-point shot. Three and three. by Chris Calagno. He's got another point in the game. And the lead by Tuck and Tess slides down to only one. Ito na ang pinakamalapit na score na nagawa ng San Miguel sa kalamangan ng Talk and Text in the entire ballgame sapagkat uh, Talk and Text actually started off with an 11 to nothing lead in the first quarter and they will look back pero ngayon San Miguel is breathing down its neck isa na lang Oled. again that zone defense of San Miguel Canina and Talking Text not able to solve that, missed the opportunity, and San Miguel comes charging back with Chris Calagio. But nakita natin na ito si Gil ang ganda, medyo binago na rin yung discarte niya here in the fourth quarter. And he's back to what he does best, which is looking for the open man in situations. Ito ang ating playoff scenario. Kirito, pakipanuha ng mga. Okay. Kung manalo dito ang San Miguel, San Miguel will earn a playoff against Air 21 for the number 5 slot. That means the last outright quarterfinals berth. And talking text will go to the quarterfinals because Alaska and Ginebra will battle in the playoff for the last outright settings berth. So that means kung manalo dito ang San Miguel, magkakaroon po tayo ng dalawang playoff for number 2 and for number 5 at buhay ang Ginebra. Yes. Now, kung matalo dito ang San Miguel, patay ang Ginebra. Hindi naman patay, kundi makakalunod pa sila sa outright quarterfinals, but they will be out of the running for the semifinals. And Here's a third one. Ang dami tapik sa bola on the possession of talking things. Yes. And now, San Miguel has the opportunity to take the lead. Ito yung sinasabi natin. No? San Miguel will live and die with its defense. And right now, they're hanging to the coattails of talking Text because of its defense. They've gotten back in this game because of the defense and San Miguel has not led the entire game. And that's the only game. And San Miguel takes the lead. That's the first lead of San Miguel and they do it with 3.40 to go. What a comeback. All right. San Miguel has the lead by one. Galen Young with 22 points, and this is the first time that Galen Young has scored over 20 points in any game this conference. Yes, Miguel Salas scores with a foul. San Miguel fans rolling. That's right. You know, kailangan na kailangan ng Hinebra na manalo dito. Because if they do, Hinebra will play Alaska for an outright semi-final third. What a pass coming from Olsen Rasella. And Wesley Gonzalez up to it. The previous high of Galen Young this conference, 19 points. So this is the first time you are more. Wesley Gonzalez, what an explosion off the bench. 
12 points all in the second half for the former Ateneo Blue Eagles. Four point lead for San Miguel out of nowhere. Sabi nga natin na na, hindi po nakalabang ito until now. Dito lang sa fourth quarter, nakatikim ng uh, kalamangan ng San Miguel over Tech and Tex. Naghabol na naghabol. And finally, naabutan nila ang uh, Tech and Tex. Tsaga-tsaga lang. Well, Gonzalez has really very, been very active para sa San Miguel. No? Hindi lang yung kanyang puntos, no? of which he already has 12. But he has also played some defense against Salinger. At yung defense ang pinakita ng San Miguel against Salinger all game long has really taken a toll. Salinger held down to only 13 points. Kanina nakita natin, nagpintes. 3 minutes and 19 seconds to go in the ball game. San Miguel now in the lead by four. San Miguel looking to trap in the back. Oh! And it's now. Cardona. Then for the shot. I shouldn't be producing as he goes up but he elected to go for the shot. Well, that's a favorite hook shot. He marked Mark Cardona. That's his, uh, he has a trademark. He has a patent. But he looked at you there, man. Oh. Daniel Defenso. Scores against Yashi. What a basket coming from Danny I. He's got 21 in the game. Ito yung galaw ni Daniel Defenso na hindi na nahabol ni Yashi. He had a step. You watch that curl move. Towards his strong side. And getting the shot to fall inside. Now you also must know, must realize that Yancy Del Campo is left-handed. Yes. So Daniel Defonso going over to his weak side, the right side of Yancy Del Campo to score. And now it is San Miguel up by five. Daniel Defonso with 22 in the game. And San Miguel is sticking to that zone defense. Ardona. Oh, yes, a big one. And a shot by Matt Ardona. That's against the zone defense. Yeah, Cardona, the last five points. Of talking picks, Gali Saranya, and he now has a total of 17 in the game. 96 94. San Miguel in the lead. Set up for Ocean Rosella. Oh, look at that big rebound. Galen Young picks up the foul. Well, it's winning time. You see the imports now working overtime. And I'm talking specifically about Galen Young. <laughs> But you know, when San Miguel had a run with Galen Young sitting down, he must have told himself, Sandali, dapat yata sa guro. Trabaho na ako dito, baka mamaya sabi rin San Miguel, they can win without me. Eh, siyempre, gusto rin niya sumali. Here's Galen Young with the free throw. And to remind you about the Hinebra San Miguel topping matchup, Dorian Pena versus Donald Nieto. Here po ang update dyan. Hinebra San Miguel topping matchup, pati dyan yun ang Hinebra San Miguel topangan mo. Bilog ang mundo para Ginebra San Miguel. Well and Young, very inconsistent with his free throw shooting. Belano to Salinger. Back again to Belano. Matt Cardona. Alright. And here is the outlast. Two minutes as J.J. Salinger scores. And at the outlast two minutes, at the J.J. the outlast making his three batteries. Well, on the third, Tawas set to beat. So it looks like the imports are taking over the game now. Salinger for Duncan Tex and Galen Young. Now calling the play here and who wants a clear out. And why not? He went up against Cardona. He missed, oh, offensive rebound. Nasa kanya. There's a loose ball, five. And he will go to the line. So he's got to sharpen up in his free throw shooting. But I'm not going to do it comes to the game again. Oh, right? yes. Going back and uh, taking the offensive board. And that's the mark of an intelligent player. Nung nakita niya, ang bumabantay sa kanya si Mark Macardona. He asked for a clear out. And then he struck. Took it strong against Cardona. Two by Sony Edison. Galen Young, 12 out of 15 from the line. It's 
Sandivel keeping fucking pets at bay. Sandivel now going man to man. Nice pass to Harvey Carey. Again, Carey. Such an expert down the baseline. Pero si Boy Abang. Oh, oh, tama. Nag-abang-abang lang sa baseline. Eh. Nakakawala eh. And he works very well without the ball. Plus usually, the interior defenses at San Miguel are so focused on trying to get the rebounds or trying to stop the import from driving the lane. Oh, oh. Ayan, si Harvey Carey. Oh, missing the free throw. Very crucial. And I'm going to leave him to still talk in text, huh? Talk in text has missed a total of 11 free throws in this game. 11 free throws missed. Car Carey is only two out of seven from the line tonight. Just a two-point lead by San Miguel with a minute and 25 to go in the ball game. Uh, Baka yata na ubusan na tayo ng uh, bosses. Ako lang. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ako lang, maganda naman eh. That's what happens because the game is so exciting. At back there, uh, San Miguel getting the job done here because of tough rebounding with an edge of 54 against 45 for talking text. Ito naman ang mga playoff scenarios natin. Kung manalo ang talking text, magkakaroon po tayo ng playoff between the phone pass and Alaska for the second outright semifinals berth. And in Ebra, despite figuring in a three-way log jam for second place, will fall to an outright quarterfinals berth because of the inferior quotient. And in the wildcard phase, kung matalo dito ang San Miguel, they will go down to play in the wildcard. At ito naman ang magayari kung manalo ang San Miguel. Magkakaroon po tayo ng dalawang playoff. A playoff for number two between Hinebra and Alaska. And a playoff for number five between San Miguel and Air 21. Alright mga kaibigan, ito. Sana umabot sa dulo itong boses ko. <laughs> ito si Musong Castillo na alam na. <laughs> Aabot siya. Daniel De Bolsa at Lord Bowles. Batras lamang kay Aliado. Hicks it out to Rosella. Wala. Aliado drives the rebound. Here comes Don Del Bolano. Big opportunity here for talking text. Challenger. Now you notice San Miguel now playing man to man. Challenger. Nagawa na. Hey, tumapak si Daniel De Bolsa. A big break here for talking text. Less than a minute to go. Labang Parela, San Miguel, and Dalawa. You know, Gangle's a ball player, man. There's not just one thing he does, he can do it all. Well, he's really athletic. He thrives off emotion, you know. He talks a little trash, which is cool. We have to make sure he's, play he's playing defense on the other end of the floor so that he doesn't have all his energy on the other end of the floor. If I can just limit things that get him in a rhythm, we'll have a pretty good chance. Well, baka may respeto sa isa't isa yung dalawang yan, ano ha? And here's how they perform tonight. So far. Yes, and the matchup has gone up several notches here, and we're not even in the playoffs. This is the last game sa ating double round eliminations, and you see there's so much intensity because of the rivalry between these two. Top-notch imports is Ellinger at si Galen Young. And you see Galen Young has overextended himself in terms of points scored. 26 points, first time he has gone 20 or more sa conference natin, while Salinger, who usually averages in the 20s, has been held down to only 15. Now, Salinger scored 35 points the last time out for talking text, and he's used to scoring big. But yung depensa ng San Miguel, talagang tinutukan. Si Salinger has held him down to 15 points, but talking text is within striking distance. He's a big three-point shot. Now, missed it. And the rebound player, loose ball foul. And that's going to be against Talking Text. Now, a little bit too early penalty to go for the three-point shot. No, oh, that's a penalty now, Talking Text. I was going to say, no, with uh, less than a minute to go, you take a three-point shot, a low percentage shot like that, and you miss. Chances are the ball is going to go off for a long rebound. Makukuha ng kalaban. And that time, a poor decision on Talking Text. They gave up the foul, they were in the penalty. So maybe that three-point shot was not the right decision to make in that situation. 
to Olsen Rosella, a 90% free throw shooter. You see Lordi Tugade there watching behind the San Miguel beer bench. Of course, you know that he's being missed because of an injury. And it is a four-point lead for San Miguel. Now San Miguel has two fouls to give. There's one. Now, was that in the act of shooting? Okay, not in the act of shooting, so it will be an inbound, inbound play for Talking Tex. Meropak is on foul on San Miguel, and they will most likely give up the foul before anyone can take off their shot. There's my Cardona. And they give up the foul. And that's to disrupt the rhythm. Not only of uh, Cardona, but also the flow. So offensive and talking text. So when you've got a foul to give, you make sure that the one you're fouling is not in the act of shooting. You disrupt the flow and you kill some time. Here's JJ Salinger. Hey! He went up, he went up the ball. That's a good call. He went up with the ball and came down with it. Salinger will be hit with a technical. He threw the ball at the referee. Now will the referee make the call? The referee will not make the call. That's the he made the call. He made the call. But you notice what the referee did, which is something you've got to admire. He walked away over to the midcourt line and then made the call. So referee went to run. That could have been. That could have been an offensive foul against Sullinger. But he went up with the, with the ball and came down with it. That's why he was called from traveling. So foul. But you've got to admire what the referee did. He did not make an immediate call because he knew that Sullinger was all fired up and he would have exploded. Yes. So he walked away, went over to the midcourt line, then made the call. A great move at the part of the PBA referee. Like you said, that was our referee Mario Montiel who made the call. That's him. 102-97, five-point lead para sa San Miguel in that possession. With only 27 seconds to go. Chris Calagi is fouled. I'm talking text, no records, but to give up the foul to stop the clock. But might be a little too late for that with a five-point lead. And That's a two-possession game here. Fast shaping up to be one of the biggest comebacks here. Unbelievable. In PBA history. Remember what we said, San Miguel took its first lead with 3.40 to go. And Talking Tex led the entire way until that point. Chris Calagua missing the first free throw. It's still a two-possession game here in favor of San Miguel. As Azi Tablava. Blunt faces now on uh, the Talking Tex bench. Back here at the Alameda Coliseum, 25.9 seconds to go. And a big comeback by San Miguel Beer down until the fourth quarter. And on the centers of attraction, Yancy Ocampo, Daniel Defonso. Both played well tonight. 82-8 San Miguel run in the last five minutes. And that has brought San Miguel to this six-point cushion. Here's one down Delano trying for a three-point shot. Hard to carry, but it's a Delano. Then Andrade, at the final, on the four. And Salinger again gives up the foul against Olsen Rosella. And certainly not the man to foul in this situation. You know, with a six-point lead, that's a two-possession game. Considering you can level with two three-point shots. But now, Olsen Rosella at the line, he will make this a three-possession game. And it's all over. So that previous possession of talking text was crucial. It should have worked very well for a three-point shot opportunity. Or even go for a quick two. No, with the time remaining, 
they really had no recourse. They had to go for a three-point shot to put some pressure on Sanchez. But Olsen Rasella responding to the call. Scoring a lot of free throws here in the end game. Well, the guards of uh, San Miguel in the end game really sat up and rose to the occasion. And we're not talking of just Olsen Rasella now with 10 points. But we're also talking of L.A. Tenorio, who finishes with eight points, and Cardona has not finished. Here's a steal. They'll go for a three-point shot. Cardona. And San Miguel steals this one from Talking Text.